it's time to make manigottis with tortillas. So we're going to mix the ricotta into the fresh spinach. I'm going to put garlic powder on it and pepper, fresh pepper. And here's the mixture. This is what I'm doing. I just threw the ricotta into the spinach. I had used the spinach a couple of days and then this is what I have left, almost a whole container. And we're going to stuff our manigottis with this. So I have flour tortillas, and this is how we're going to make our manigotti. Um, I use these for the chicken enchiladas and the apple enchiladas. So this is my first time trying it with this. So let's see. And these are, I believe, two points a tortilla. I will, I will double check. So I'm going to take a tortilla. And I'm going to put a clump of ricotta and spinach. And some parmesan. And then I'm going to roll it like this. I'm just going to roll these. I'll take another one. made with flour so if you smother them in sauce they should cook like pasta because they're made of flour these are big manigotis oh I forgot the cheese on that one okay new problem all good in the hood all good in the hood I want to make a special topping for them. These are a great item to buy in the supermarket because it's just so versatile. You could make so many things. Make little meat pies, little turkey pies. And then we're going to put shredded mozzarella. Now we're going it. to put a little garlic, a little pepper on top. Shredded cheese. Now I have a can of crushed tomatoes. And I'm going to add some parsley, basil, and oregano. So I'll just put a little oregano. Because oregano is very strong. And the dried oregano is better than the fresh. So the basil. And I love parsley. So I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to pour it. Pour it over. So I'm going to let this cook like this, covered, so the tortillas will get Nice and I've cooked. never made manigotas like these, but we'll see. I'm going to cover it with tin foil. I'm going to bake it in the oven for about a good hour or so at 350. And we'll see what it looks like, and then we'll take it out. And we're going to put breadcrumbs, parmesan, garlic. Pepper and olive oil on top. So here we made this delicious mixture. Now do you see this mixture? You could make spaghetti and just put this on top. 
This is a great, great topping just to keep it in your fridge and just have it available. So it's olive oil, progresso Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, pepper. You notice I don't add salt to anything because I need less salt in my diet. And um, these will give it a little crunchy. This is exactly what you would put on a meatball. In a meatball. Oh, and I could put parsley in here too. Oops. Now that was a little overboard, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to put that in here. Just save it. I have a good Italian cooking tip for you. This is Rayo's marinara sauce. It is as delicious as my sauce. So I have to tell you, we use this a lot for a quick meal and for pizza. When we make pizza, we buy the dough from Trader Joe's and then just roll it out and pour this on and some cheese on top. It's delicious. But I do just want to highly recommend Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. So this is how it came out. You know, it feels like pasta. This is the first time I've ever done this with tortillas. First time I've ever made managotas with tortillas. Now I'll put the mozzarella. Take the cover and off. I'll take some Parmesan. And I will take these breadcrumbs. It just adds another layer of flavor. Ooh. <laughs> Looks so good. And then I don't have to cook for a few days. Yummy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And most of all, don't forget to manja. Much love to you.